guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a catalog look through from summer of 2008 and we have Kit and Ruthie and Grace in the treehouse on the front. So let's get right into it. So opening up to the inside cover, we have an ad for the Kit Kitteridge live action movie, um, which is, I haven't seen that in forever, but we also have um, Ruthie. I'm not, is this like her debut? catalog or something i don't know um let me know if it is but regardless there's a whole spotlight and it says we'll meet her on page four um mia was still the girl of the year just like you bitty baby dressed like her doll and historical characters so on the next page we have a whole spread um of kit and ruthie it says right here meet kit's friend ruthie so like i said i'm not sure if this is like her debut or just like kind of in the area of it um but they had the best friend collection at the time for 205 dollars and i feel like that's pretty cheap compared to something they do today but um kit and ruthie were only 105 with the book and accessories so i kind of wish we could go back to those days so we have a whole page of more Kit and Ruthie stuff. I love the treehouse scene right here. Um, I have the treehouse and it's really big actually. Um, so like dolls look really tiny here. It's cause they kind of are, it's huge. Um, and this Ruthie outfit is honestly one of my favorite historical outfits they've ever released. Um, the detail on it is just outstanding and I love it so much. Um, and it's such a cute set. But yeah, we have new movie, new doll um, for Ruthie right here. The overall outfit. I wish they would have re-released that, but it's so expensive. But whole spotlight for Kit and Ruthie on this page. We have the kitchen and wash day set on this page. Um, again having these items like the wash day set really good quality table and chairs super good um i've been on the hunt for the glassware and linens for a reasonable price for a long time i don't think that's ever gonna happen but um the stove and the produce and preserve set is also a nice piece to have as well um and i just can't wait to have my own like doll room one day to recreate this scene it's always um really stood out to me in the catalogs so this is when kit got a new set of pajamas we have the striped nighty set um that's the one i grew up having and i always liked it. i thought it was cute and then of course they have like the old sailor ones as well um ruthie's is actually pretty cute it's not like my favorite historical one ever made but it does the job it's good material and over on this page we have more of um like kit's typewriter set school desk school chair um the outfit here um what else am i missing yeah so also the birthday outfit with the corresponding book as well next historical we have julie and this is one of my favorite Julie outfits ever. I know it's not a lot of people's favorite because of the colors, but I think it's just so out there. I love it so much. All right, and then we have her birthday collection here slash summer outfit. Um, I always wanted the two-in-one summer outfit. I'll have to like hunt that down. Um, but her birthday outfit, her dress right here is so stunning i have yet to get that as well i really don't have a lot of julie's outfits but just like the floral detail and everything about that is really pretty and really high quality and we have more of julie's collection right here we also have the tiny little spot for ivy with her very 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 tiny collection that they gave her um they had the be the bedroom collection at 185 which the bed bedding room accessories sound accessories pajamas i really don't think it's that terrible um i still need the sound accessories i don't 
If anyone can find a listing, please let me know. So we have right here Molly, who is my favorite historical. Um, with her summer set, we have her bathing suit as well as the camp tent. Um, I remember seeing the camp tent in person at the old Natick Mall store, and it was actually like pretty big. Um, but I don't know if a lot of people actually ended up buying it, but it's a really cool concept. So more Molly on this page, a little free catalog send out, and we have a little spotlight of Emily's collection as well as her summer bathing suit outfit as well. Um, nothing too, too crazy here. Um, so let's go on to the next page. We have Samantha here with her bedtime set. Um, pretty standard, been here since pretty much like the beginning of Pleasant Company, so nothing like too new on this page. Although I'm not the biggest Samantha fan, um, I do have to say I really love this whole like birthday collection. Um, I recently just got the table and chairs, not like the stuff on it, but it's so well made. I love her birthday outfit with the rose crown and everything like that. Um, and down here we have a little sneak of Nellie's collection. The spring dress is so pretty. I love the pink. And we have two small little pages for Addie and Kirsten. Um, these are two collections that I absolutely love, so it's kind of sad to see them on such small little pages. Moving on, we have Felicity, um, with her birthday collection here. Um, even though this is her tea dress, but anyways, um, and I've always really liked these two little photos in the background. I think they're like onions and stuff like that, but I don't know. I think they're cute. This page, we have the colonial stable set as well as her riding outfit. And as well, we have a little sneak peek collection of Elizabeth's. And I've always been a super big fan of Elizabeth's collection. All the pastel, light colors, the baby blues, baby pinks. It's just so girly, but I don't know if it's like super, super accurate. Maybe it is. I'm not sure. Now we have the girl of the year of 2008. We have Mia, who was my first girl of the year. And looking at these pages, it's just so nostalgic. Um, Mia is like the goat for me. Um, but we have her bedroom furniture set. And it's actually super, super heavy, by the way. Um, her meat outfit is it's all right. Um, but let's see what else there is. So we have more of her collection. We have the ice rink, which for $49, I think that's pretty reasonable. Um, considering this like spins and it comes with like music settings and all of that, um, and the backdrop is double-sided, I think that was pretty reasonable. And I don't think you would get that for the price today. Um, this outfit is super pretty. It goes so well with her hair and eyes. Um, and as well, we have the starter collection over here, um, which I miss when they used to do, like, the starter collections. I know they're kind of bringing back the, like, random bundles, like, you can see on the website, like, Corinne's skiing bundle or stuff like that, but it's still, like, not the same. Um, so I wish they'd kind of bring that back. And we are on to the Just Like Yous, aka the Trilly Knees, which are my favorite, which I know was not the most popular opinion, but that line is my favorite out of anything. Um, this girl is so iconic, I just have to say, um, number 27 with the earrings that don't come out. Um, last year I went on a hunt on eBay to find a good one, and I'm like, she needs to have the non-removable earrings, because she's like, just look at her, she's just so, I don't know, she's everything. And then we have some of the lineup that was here, um, some notable ones, we have number 4, um, number 18.2, who I would, like, lose it if I ever got her, um, as well as just some other ones with the pie bangs, they didn't do, like, the switch over yet. 
we have some of the school sets at the time and i think it's kind of funny in the truly me section that they just inserted julie's locker into here um it's kind of funny but at the scale of it always kind of confused me because imagine going to a school and having like your locker be bigger than you kind of thing um but it's just kind of funny that they threw that in there but i guess it fits this outfit is one of my favorites just the colors of it the green the dark purple um but so nostalgic all these outfits on this page as well we have another part of julie's collection that i don't know if a lot of people actually have this it's her bleachers um comment if you had this <laughs> um and we also had like a cheer section set which i think is actually really cute um but it's just kind of funny how they did that um the concession stand over here um i'm not sure if i said it in another video but i randomly i don't know what i was thinking when i was like nine years old but i got that at the natick store i don't I don't know why, but it is a well-made set, but I don't know if I have much use for it now. And we have some sports on this page. Um, this tennis and golf set, I absolutely love. I love the two-in-one outfits so much. Same thing with the karate training set. It's kind of like a two-in-one bundle here. And the two-in-one soccer outfit. So I guess they were really loving that two-in-one that they had at the moment. Um... The skateboard set is really cute and that's kind of on my wish list at the moment. So we have some more outdoorsy things going on here and I just have to say I'm one of the biggest coconut licorice fans and I really miss like the little accessories for coconut and licorice and I would love if they could bring those back because on the secondhand market they're so expensive for like little tiny coconut accessories it's so crazy um but this is one of my favorite outfits it's just so like plain i guess but it's just i don't know like it's so subtle but effective like especially the pattern the colors everything like that um and of course we love a recycled jess scooter from 2006 just painted different kind of and we have a whole page of dance stuff and i was never really into the dance stuff as a kid growing up um but now being an adult collector i really want to track some of these down just to have um kind of like again like this two-in-one ballerina set i just love the baby pinks and even like these gray little like capri sweatpants i love and like look at the hairstyle that is crazy i love that um and how pretty is this outfit it is the ruby ballet outfit how great would that look in the holidays um and the spotlight stage was only 30 dollars they need to bring stuff like that back um asap and the irish dance costume um i've been always curious of like how the wig like the quality so if anybody has that outfit let me know the quality of that wig because i've always been kind of curious and we have kind of like a spa little like bathroom set we have the plastic bubble tub um set i do have this and it's really cute um as well as the caddy um although i do have to say like the little styling center caddy that i have has like nothing left in it like i all i have is like these purple hair curlers which is disappointing um but yeah and then the little chaise lounge right here the sit and relax chair i found at a flea market and i was so excited and i had to kind of contain myself but it's really tiny believe it or not so on to another um bedroom set page um we have a sleeping bag over here as well as the curly q day bed um this was my first like just like you bed so it's like super super nostalgic for me we also have this little sleepover kit with like a toothbrush and retainer and 
just has this as a bottle you can pretend to fill. So I don't really know what that's supposed to be. But and this was actually a pretty cool set. I still have like bits and pieces of it. Um, especially like the tiny little game um, was like very accurate, and I love when they do like the tiny little board games and stuff like that, and all the pieces that come with it. And we have another kind of springy outdoor set. That trellis swing I have been pining over for like since this catalog came out. Um, so I need to get on the ball and get that because I, I just think it's so pretty as well as I need to get more like spring dresses like this. I don't know why I don't have like any. Um, and we have some of my favorite outfits right here, especially the licorice play outfit. It's so perfect. I love it. Um, and like I said before, bring back coconut and licorice, like this type of coconut and licorice not like coconut chip like who is that um as well as their little accessories and that would be fantastic and we have some baking and cooking on this page um this outfit the pretty print outfit is one of my all-time favorite outfits from the just like you line period it's really well made really cute and i don't really see it often um this set is actually cute. I don't have the table and chairs, but I do have the treats. And the spoons are super heavy. Like, they're like actual spoons, which is a nice quality detail. Um, this Sweet Treats Bakery case. I remember watching an old American Girl YouTube channel, like, when I was a kid. And I do not know, like, what happened to that video or anything like that. But they did have this in a room tour, and I've always wanted it from that. And we have one of my favorite pages of all the catalogs for some reason, which is just kind of like this random stuff over here. We have some of the mini dolls here. Um, and this accessory set was always kind of weird because the bag, I felt, always looked like... Like, was that supposed to be a pumpkin? I don't know. Like, it, it was just weird. Um, we have the carrying case, suitcase doll stand and then the feel better kit that they've had like forever um and then some pajama dress like your dolls over here and we have some more um dress like your doll outfits as well um just really cute stuff that's really all there is to say about it and now we are on to the bitty baby land um and this was the lineup in the catalog. I'm not sure if they had more options, but the starter collection, and I'm and I don't have like any bitty baby stuff, and I probably never will, but I can appreciate like the stuff. But the starter collection for the doll in 16, like everything right here was $98, and I think that is a really good deal. Um, like for all of this stuff. Because, like, it, it looks really cute, too. So, I think, I don't know. They need to go back to doing, like, really cute stuff like that. And look at these outfits. Oh, my gosh. Um, like, how cute is this cheerleader outfit? That's, like, so funny. Like, the little megaphone and everything like that. Um, the Star and Moon PJ set right here. That is absolutely so adorable. Um... Like, I'm obsessed with that. And the oat and acorn outfit. Like, how cute is that? Oh my gosh. All these outfits are just so cute. Do they even make outfits like this anymore? I'll have to check the website, but I don't think they do. And we have some bitty baby furniture. Like, look at how elaborate this is. Um, it's so, like, extra. I love it. We have a changing table, stroller crib with like in a whole canopy and mobile and everything the high chair um just really cute and look at the bitty tea set we have like a a lamb the little logo and a puppy how cute is that um like i said like i have no interest but i can appreciate like the cute stuff and we have the bitty twins rest in peace <laughs> they were i think they're really cute i've seen them in person a couple times um especially um these two up top 
and they're so adorable they're so chubby they're so cute like i said like same thing with like the bitty babies i don't really have interest unless i were to like find one at the thrift store for like five bucks i don't really have interest but i can appreciate the cuteness so i remember seeing this a whole bunch like this little um kitchen set and it's pretty cute actually um the chef outfit and the baking outfit over here is also pretty cute these shoes kind of look like cloth were all the shoes cloth i don't know um and this bed set i see all the time secondhand um so i didn't know like it was that popular but i do see it a lot um and how cute is this color scheme i love that so much and here on the back we have um the volleyball outfit shown again on number 28 um so yeah that's all there is on the back there's also kind of like a little thank you note i'm assuming to like i don't know just like a little thank you note to the reader i guess and girlhood and stuff like that um but yeah this was their summer 2008 catalog very kit and ruthie heavy um so yeah i hope you enjoyed this catalog look through i love watching these type of videos as much as i love making them um it's so nostalgic to just kind of look back and get ideas of what i want to try to hunt down on the second hand market and stuff like that um and i just love the doll photography and all the little room setups and all of that in here um so Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all of that. So see you guys next time. Bye.